Hey y'all, it's Lauren. So today, um, I figured I'd carry y'all around. We'll see what all we end up doing. Delta, my dog, I'll show you later, um, has a groomer appointment. It's like 11.30 right now. We're gonna have to leave here. I like to leave at 12. And at, oh, about 11 o'clock, Case comes and gives me his blankie. That's his way of saying he needs a night-night. So it's like, okay, you know, it's early for his nap. He'll probably just um, go rest, have a little, little rest. Yesterday, he laid in bed for like an hour and a half before he finally fell asleep. So I was like, okay, there's no chance of him fall asleep. Nope, he's knocked out. So, of course, not dressed. Oh, there's buzzards. Why is there buzzards? Mom to go. Oh, jeez. I got something just like that. The urgency of that situation is over. So, um, on my walk down there, I could just see a few flying and then several, like, in the trees and stuff. Um, anyhow, with the urgency of buzzards, we have cows. We're a cattle farm family. Um, more out. Um, my nose is running. It's so nasty outside. It's just rainy and yucky. So, I'm way down there. They started all settling into the trees. Stopped flying. I'm like, not really circling. When I got down there, um, I got up on a gate and, you know, a few of them seen me. They started flying off. They all got up and flew off. Like, I don't know. But the urgency, back to that, um, we had a calf yesterday and, um, you just never know. Buzzards are a good sign that something's not right, something's going wrong. We have a few more mamas ready to calf here in the next any moments. But it's a good time to go see what's going on when you got buzzards. So, they flew off on the next thing, so I guess that's okay. Um, catch your breath. It started raining while I was out there. I'm already behind schedule. I have to get case stressed as soon as like I wake him up, which I don't wake him up. I've never been one to wake him up. He doesn't really wake up the pleasantest when he's not ready. So I gotta wake him up, get him dressed. It's raining outside. We gotta take the dog to the groomer in the rain. Um, may or may not have to kill time until she's done, which with it raining is gonna really stink. I'm not gonna go to the park or anything. We'll just have to see where the day takes us. That's the story of my life. See where the day takes us because I don't plan nothing. But I just hope it doesn't do this all day. It's just yucky. That's all you can say. It's just yucky. So I don't know what time it is now, but I'm sure it's time to get case up. We need to be leaving here by 12. It's a 45 minute drive to the groomer. Her appointment's at 1. I don't know exactly where it's at. It's kind of on the side town that I don't go to very often. And once you, it's like on this road, but once you pass it, you're going to have heck getting turned around and pointed back, you know, the right direction and crossing traffic. It's two lanes with a turning lane. Very, very busy a road for two lanes and a turning lane and no stop signs, stop lights, and nothing. Anyhow. So, I don't want to pass it. If I do pass it, I'm going to need some time. It's a little stressful, okay? It's a little stressful. A way long time ago, did I finish my story about toddlers? How unblasted predictable they are? Like, yesterday he sat in there and talked for an hour, at, at least. Like, I took a shower, ate a sandwich, and, like, like did a few things before he ever fell asleep. Today, he falls right to sleep. During the time that really I wasn't hoping for him to sleep. Love a toddler. Unpredictable. I look ridiculous with these horns coming out. Okay. They're horns. A few days going a little, you know, south. Put on a necklace. Like I've got, which, I mean, there's like all this on the couch, but I've got clothes ready. Like, I need to go wake him up. Like, this has given me, it's 12 o'clock on the dot right now. We need to leave here by 12.15. 
to in Lord of like maps to have me at the groomer in time. I just dread so hard waking him up. Or so how do you dread? Hard, bad, intensely. I dread it. Like I never woke him up. I've never always that's a bird. <laughs> I've always been like the let sleep on baby's law. So like I mean, I, never is a strong word. He's had to be woke up for, and it's usually not great. And now I'm thinking, like, I'm hungry, but, like, I'm not going to be able to eat in the car with the dog in case. So, so I'm going to just have to get over it and get the dog to the groomer because we don't have time or ability. I need to go wake him up. I'm just, like, putting it off. I'm going to sit here and talk to y'all so I don't have to go wake my son up. Okay, more other things to say. But look at this necklace. Walmart clearance bin find. It was like two dollars, which it's a Walmart necklace. It's probably not much more than that. And it's not gonna last very long. I'm all about costume jewelry, but Walmart is like it gets not gold very fast. But two dollars, I thought can't, can't not, can't not, right? Can't, can't not, can't not, right? Oh my gosh, I'm literally gonna try and try and try and wake Case up. I get him up, I get him a diaper. He's like not having no part of it, like going back to sleep. The dog knows we're going somewhere. She knows she's evolved. I'm trying to tell Case, we gotta get Delta to go, we gotta get Delta to go. So Delta's like, whoa, we're going. You might see her flying around back in the back, looking for puffs. And literally, I'm trying to get Case dressed and the bottom falls out. Like, it's locked up a ton. Just in the time of me sitting here and the car got everybody in the car. Ugh. I still have on shoes because it was like it's getting harder it's getting the rain's getting harder get to the car like get Delta in the car to where we don't have to ride with a wet stinky dog stinky earth and she stinks oh my god maybe he'll go out to sleep probably not he's so excited Delta's in the car she usually rides in the back like in the truck bed um I mean, I just couldn't, like, no. That, that just felt wrong. Just for, like, a little time check, it's 12.15. So, don't pass your turn, honey. That's all I got to say. Don't pass your turn. You're just in the time, but I told you I'd show you Delta, so that's her extra fluffy. We gotta go. After having talked to her, um, I'm glad I showed y'all the before Delta. After Delta, maybe, um, a lot less hairy. This is something we're going to be doing much more often and much more frequent. I forgot how, like, not of a parking lot this parking lot was. But we're fixing to go find food. They said it'd probably be closer to six. When she's ready, like, I don't think we'll be able to kill, like, five hours. So, we'll buy. I'm hungry. So, I think we'll probably get some food, head to the house. And then we may come back up for, like, dinner or see, like, what Zach's getting off schedule looks like. He may pick her up. So, I feel like I'm regretting my decision to change it up for dinner, for lunch. Um, we always go to Taco Bell. I know what Case likes to talk about. I know what you'll eat. I know how to order, like, the cheapest way. I'm like, let's change it up. Some french fries sound good. Let's go to Wendy's. You can't say that's Wendy's, but anyhow. First of all, it's packed. Like, packed. I'm parked close to the door, but how close are you ever to the door when your kid's on that side of the truck? So you gotta go around and it's wet and he doesn't have shoes on, so I we'll have to do that. So I'm like really um, dreading this decision, but let's just be real. It's 1.18, it's lunch on a weekday, everywhere's gonna be packed. So disappointed. They don't even have Dr. Pepper. That's Coke. This is why I don't change it up. This is why I stick to my Taco Bell. I know what I like there. I got cold fries. No. Case is eating apples. I mean, I have even missed up apples. So, after that unsatisfying cold meal. 
let's bring it home because it's still like flooding. Like all the parking lots are soaking wet. There's like enough breeze that's made the wind like blow in your car while you're trying to get case in. It's getting everything wet. It's just not a pretty day. So, boring vlog. get ice cream on the way home because I'm a sucker for an ice cream shop. But we're going to head home and then we'll come back and get Delta. Seems ridiculous. So we go 45 minutes here, 45 minutes home. You're not going to get anything done before we drive 45 minutes back. But it's kind of what it sounds like. It's just going to be able to do this. So, Let's go. I have a free dealy bar at um, the dealy bar store. What is that? Dairy Queen. Um, we just got a Dairy Queen. There's like no ice cream in this town. There's a Sonic, but it's not always the best. Like 90% of the time, they'll tell you like the ice cream's too soft to make what you're trying to make. That they all can only do milkshakes. And I'm like, what? It's too soft. Like, what? But, um, so, I'm like, I could go get a free dilly bar. Okay, a dilly bar is the messiest thing in the world, if you know what that is. It's kind of like a chocolate covered cone, but it's just on a stick instead. It's like the messiest thing in the world to eat in your truck. And nobody wants to do that, so. Hmm. Gosh, I thought about this place. Andy's, you can see it. I don't even know if it's a joint, like a chain, or, um, like mom and pop they have waffle cones and like like it's kind of like old-fashioned food they are really good salad bar like the best salad bar in town i always forget about this place for whatever reason i don't know it's not like popular by any means but this is delicious and here we are home case fell asleep five minutes before we put in the driveway not dare waking him again so i'll sit here in the truck Nap out. Okay then. It's gonna be fun. Just talking about Taco Bell coming in for the win. Like Dr. Pepper. A lot more food. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be good. We'll see. Okay, so I just pulled in. She's still working on her. I'm like creeping in the window. Um let me just say this before I get a lot of judgment. It's going to be what it's going to be, the judgment, like I can take it. I understand that she's a double coat dog. I understand the science behind not cutting double coat dogs. I understand, I understand, I understand, I do. I've done my research on it. I understand. This is something that me and my family have chosen to do. I'd appreciate you to keep your comments soon. It's nice just nice I, 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 I've done my research on it okay like I get it I know I understand so I bet I'll be asked um, her breed she's a toy Aussie she's like an extra toy now um but um, I'm fixing to go in and um, you know just wait but I thought I'd knock that out but I will for sure be showing y'all she's cute I mean she's cute she's always cute I mean she's like a baby dog like I thought we, when she was like a puppy, it was like, you're going to be the best dog ever because you'll forever be a baby dog. You'll you'll grow out of the puppy and still be a baby dog because she's like tiny version of a big dog. Okay, well. Um, but yeah, like I get it. I understand your opinions about it. I had my own opinions for years. Like the dog is years old. She's never had a single mat cut out. Like I've taken hours to brush out a mat I get it but this had to be done and you can say it didn't have to be done you can say like let's just let's just avoid all this she's cute with the new Delta spin turn Delta come here come here that's what um she's kind of got a little bit of a line cut let's sit and turn okay look turn I was telling the woman, I said, I didn't even realize that her dot tail, um, 
that she really had like a tail on her dog. But it's not, it's just hair to kind of make that a more beautiful area. Um, but I'm already in jammies. We're going to call it a night. Um, I hope y'all subscribe. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It was kind of boring. Story of my life. But stay tuned. Um, the next video will be a pregnancy update. So, 25 weeks. Thank you.